On this adventure with Look Mew, we head out to John Brewer Reef to dive the amazing Museum of Underwater Art. nautical miles to get there so it's three hours each way by boat um but it was an amazing dive yesterday so we'll go again today there's jamie running late as always We were told the visibility would be quite low today, but we were still excited to see such a unique dive site.
have been in Townsville now for about three weeks and the time has come to move on. We have people joining us in Cairns so we need to head on up and we're really excited about the next bit of this coast because it's got Orpheus, Palm, Dunk, Hitchinbrook, Fitzroy, all within about 150 nautical miles. So we have made our list of places we will probably stop. Um, so we're not going to stop at Palm tomorrow, we think we're going to go straight to Orpheus. We have left our car at a friend's house, we will come down and get it in a, a couple of weeks probably. Um, and in the morning we've got water tanks to fill up and rubbish to get rid of, a little bit of recycling to drop off. And then we are good to go for the next adventure. In readiness to leave Townsville, we've downloaded the weather using Predict Wind and we can see there are some strong southeasterlies coming our way to help push us up the coast. Last check of uh, bits and pieces before we leave Townsville. Rubbish done. Uh, Jamie is topping up the water. He's checked the oil. And then we are good to go. Today's jump going from Townsville to Orpheus Island. Waypoint in, distance to waypoint, distance to waypoint. 43 kilometres. No, 43 nautical miles. Go, go, go! As we say goodbye to Townsville. So we've gone wing on wing now, we're heading essentially downwind and look he's doing pretty well actually. With 14 knots of true wind speed from directly behind us, we were able to maintain a pretty comfortable 6 knot to boat speed. This is delightful magic that won't last, so we will enjoy it while we can. downwind, down swell, down everything. Eight hour sail, seven hour sail. Absolutely delightful. And it didn't rain, which was meant to absolutely bucket down. So, win-win. Yep, all good. It's a 24 hour. It's raining a little bit. We're in Orpheus Island. Blowing about 20 knots in the anchorage on a mooring buoy. I don't think we're going to go on that bush walk tomorrow if the weather's like this. Although this is it's currently gusting to five knots. Well, I think we're in for quite a wet passage today. We're going to wait half an hour, see if the rain stops. And then we are going to go through the Hinchinbrook Channel and try and find a less rolly spot to sleep tonight. Because it was pretty horrible here last night and we didn't get any sleep. Uh, I can see a few hundred metres, but it's uh, pretty ordinary. In 30 knots of wind and approaching a shallow channel, we were concerned about the wave height and our clearance under kill. Just in the distance there is a jetty, which is, we're seeing the end of a five kilometre, roughly two and a half nautical mile jetty. That jetty is unbelievably long literally just disappears on the horizon. Now I know our visibility is not good today with all the rain but still that is just epic. Currently heading into the Hinchinbrook Channel, shitting my pants because we're in about a metre of water in whew, 27 knots of wind and a pissing rain. Oh back up to three. Um, and some big waves hitting our side on, um, which I probably won't be able to catch. But... 
So we're back in about six meters of water. Jeez, that was just terrifying. Hello. How was that? That was uh, a bit nerve wracking, to be honest. We got down to like 1.6 meters on the kill. Oh, you didn't call that one out. Were you censoring for me? What was the lowest I called out? 1.7, 1.8, yeah. It's a G and a pretty narrow part of the channel, but we're almost in clear water now. It's actually quite stunningly beautiful once the rain clears up a bit. Um, I've seen a few waterfalls and stuff. Just be nice if it stopped raining. Toast and sandwich. Beautiful. Who's been a good boy? It is getting particularly difficult to see channel markers in this weather. Just appearing amongst the white out. How's it going? Good. For all those people who don't think I take my tent in the rain. anchored down in a mangrove which we wouldn't normally consider however it's pretty windy and shitty out there and uh, it's actually really beautiful in here and I hope tomorrow morning uh, when the rain clears that that could be really specky you know something's wrong when you're this far north in the wet season and I'm wearing my Ugg boots. That's how cold it's been in the pissing rain. But I'm comfy now. We are off to explore Hinchinbrook mangroves. Uh, Jamie's sunscreened. I've put red on because they love me. Bag to take with us. Mobile phone. BHF, GPS. Let's go. Where are we going? Going to Crocodile Creek first? Yeah. Whilst exploring, we were careful to not go too slowly or to put our hands over the side because there's a giant resident crocodile that took the life of a cruising guy not all that long ago. We are sitting on top of the roof, having a drink and looking at this incredible view. Hinchinbrook Island, now that we can see it, because the pissing rain has stopped, it's very dramatic, very pretty. On the next adventure with Look of You, the wet weather continues as we head further north to Cairns. We are absolutely humming along with the crop. We're here in Cairns. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your friends.